What's up, y'all? Listen up. Bear with me on this. I'm going to give y'all a little insight on how to get freedom from trucking, right? You know, we got a lot of the drivers out here, own operators and all that, but here's how you get freedom in trucking. Here's how not to get trapped, right? Because it's not really a money thing. A lot of people come out in trucking and they, they chase the money, right? And the money is what we need, is what we are here for, but it's a way to do it without really being uh, a slave to trucking, right? Because you can get out there and feel like you're wasting your life. So here's the key. Y'all listen, listen to what I'm going. Let me get a couple of likes down there too. Subscribe to you, boy. I got some heat for y'all, right? So here it is, right? Say, for instance, you work a job, right? Say, for instance, you are a driver already working for a company. You may be working however many days a week, five days a week. You may be gone for months at a time. I don't know what your situation is, but just consider this, right? Consider becoming an owner operator. You already know the type of money that you live off of, right? Whatever you make a week, $1,000, $1,500 a week, $2,000 a week, whatever it is, right? When you become an owner operator, you're going to double and triple that salary, right? So you should be able to get out here. And I'm talking about just running in the region and being home all the time. I'm home every day, right? So you should be able to generate five, seven, eight thousand $8,000 a week running within your region, being home nightly, if not every night, right? And not working weekends. So you're not all over the road and uh, and missing a lot, uh, you know, a lot of your kids' events and all that other stuff, right? So if you can do that, right, you can turn your... Uh, $1,500 a week, $2,000 a week job into on an oper operator. So now you got your own business now. You can make that money that you're making monthly in a week with trucking, right? So you can get out here and you can work a few days a week and still make the income that you need to survive on. Because it's not about getting rich, right? It's, it's about being comfortable and it's about being free. And with that business that you start becoming the owner operator, any other business, but I'm just talking about being an owner operator, it's going to give you that freedom, that time. You can't put a price on time, right? So you take that, you work it to your best ability, right? And make it work for you. For instance, if, if you're a husband and wife out here, right? Say both of y'all work a job at Walmart, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? It could be a corporate job. I'm going to scenario seven. Bear with me now and see where I'm going with this. One of you guys make $50,000 a year, another make forty, dollars or both of y'all make $50,000 a year. One truck would make you $150,000 plus if you get out here and work that truck, right? So you can get out here, husband and wife work, you can do it as a buddy team, or you can just do it solo. You know, if you're somebody that make that money, you can get out here on your own in a truck, make that money as an owner operator and control what you do every day versus going, punching that clock for somebody, listen to somebody tell you what to do and all this other stuff that's going on. You can get in trucking, you can be your own boss, you can get out here and you can make more money in trucking that you make on your job in a in, in less amount of time, right? So that's giving you time freedom. The first thing you should look for in your business is time freedom. The time to be able to do what you want to do. So basically what I'm saying is, if your truck end up making you the same amount as you make on your job, you're already winning because you're doing what you want to do. You don't have to drive every day. So you don't have to get up work every day. You can work two, three days a week and still maintain your household and trucking. You get what I'm saying? So that's just a little FYI for y'all. Peace.